And that's the panel. <laughs> Guys, Hello. that's it. Please, the song is called Sabotage, all right? That's what it's called. Oh my yeah. goodness, there's so many of you. Thank you so much for coming out today. Thanks. Hello, everybody. My name is Gray Haddock. I am the head of Rooster Teeth Animation. And we have here. <laughs> yeah! So. Yes! Uh, my name is Carrie Shawcross. I'm the co writer and current director of Ruby. I'm Miles Luna. I'm a co writer and I voice John. My name is Barbara Dunkelman and I voice Yang Xiao Long. I'm Aaron Zek and I voice like Baldana. Hi, I'm Kara Eberly and I voice Weiss Chini. Uh -huh. Hello, I am Lindsay Jones and I voice Ruby Rose. <sighs> Let's get down to okay. business. We're gonna get through all the business stuff. Real quick, we're gonna show you guys some cool stuff and then we're gonna show you some cooler stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm digging the camera movements up there. It's like really whip pan. <laughs> <laughs> Keep you on I toes. So weird. I am keeping my legs closed. <laughs> Carrie, there's, there's already a camera inside of you, baby. All right. <laughs> They're seeing everything. Hey, everyone, what's up? Oh, oh, oh. Careful, Aaron. <laughs> and before we get into it, how's everybody's Comic Con going? You good? Awesome. Okay. Uh, good to see Let's everybody. talk about stuff real quick. I'm not cheating by pulling this up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. W intro and BS, got it, cool. We Check. got the BS Done. covered. Okay. Ahead of schedule. Hey, oh yeah, we're ahead of schedule. We, we did like 90 more seconds of BS. No, 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 no. we have more 90 more seconds of other it. stuff. All right, all right. Uh, hey, who's been by our booth so far this weekend? <laughs> Thank you very much. Did you guys see the awesome new McFarlane figure that's oh. there? So Can good. we show that image? We got it. For those who haven't seen it yet. Sexy image of McFarlane toys. Just kidding, that's still my horrible face. Hey, but it's really cool. <laughs> and uh, it's uh, available at our booth right now. Uh, I don't know how much it is. I'm stupid. Uh, um, I don't know off the top of my head, but I mean, it's, it's the only figure out there that has Ruby in her volume four forward outfit. Yeah. So if you yeah. want that, then yeah, go so check it out. Check it out, yeah. Check it out. Check it out. Check hey. It out. There she is. Damn, girl. Well, fancy Looking fancy fierce. Though. Yeah. Gorgeous. And then so while, <laughs> thank you for buying thank it. You. The thank one you person I purchased it already. <laughs> I've done my part. There, there are still some at the booth, so we should fix that. <laughs> I'll take Other it. Other people can go buy it. <laughs> um, <laughs> speaking of stuff that's at the booth that you could spend your money on if you would like to. This is so pretty. We have the volume five poster here. Oh, oh, yeah. next. Can we get that up? Can we get that image up? Yes. Speaking of fierce. Shout Done by the Ayn amazing Lee. Ayn Lee. Yeah. Let's look, recreate it. I look so angry. It's good. She did an amazing job. It's party. Did we all try to recreate it, or was that just Barbara and me? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, yeah, spoilers, Ruby's actually going to be in Ruby Volume 5. I know. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. No way. I heavily protested against it, guys. I'm sorry. I tried. We tried we were like, to get please. Off, but I like how we also tried. featured Worst Mom. <laughs> <laughs> hey, she's a hard, she's a hardworking single parent. <laughs> worst, worst mom, but best boy in my opinion. Freaking Oscars. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Same. He oh, is the best of boys. The best of boys. What the else we got, Care Bear? <laughs> oh, uh, so the next thing you can check out in the booth right now. I don't know if you've heard that Rooster Teeth is doing a Kickstarter for Rooster Teeth's very first board game. We're doing Ruby Combat Ready on Kickstarter. We go to the next image, please. Yes. And you can check it out. They've got a demo version in the booth this yeah. weekend. Has and anyone backed it we've yet? We've played it. Yeah, so thank you if you backed it. Awesome. Oh my gosh, thank, thank you. you. Oh, look, I have a little figure, like in <laughs> Candyland. And the cool thing is, I think, you know, depending on what level it hits, then, you know, uh, the pieces will upgrade to be cool looking plastic and miniatures. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it, it, this, ver this first board game that we're going for is more about the action from the show. Yeah. So it, it has the flavor of the, the choreography of the fights in terms of reading your opponent and trying to decide what you think the next card or move is going to be. And you try to decide what sort of strategy you want to play based on that. And you do a bunch of uh, attempts at hits. And then you're finishing move. And did you take the, out the villain? It's like a fighting yeah. game, but you don't actually have to hurt yourself or anyone else. <laughs> but you could. Yay. And you can work with your friends. Yeah. Yay. Like Ruby. But oh. yeah, go to rubycombatready.com to check that out also. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, speaking of games and things that you can <laughs> also <laughs> still do at the booth. Dang, we got who, a lot of stuff. I'm, 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 we're, I can't swear. I'm gonna swear. I'm not gonna do it. It's fine. We're, we're going. We're ready. Uh, who here has heard of a little video game franchise called Blaze Blue? <laughs> One, this dude, two, apparently. Yes. Three. I lost count. Shit. Carrie, uh, Carrie. <laughs> Blay blue. Blay blue. Good Blay stuff. Blay Thank blue. you. I said that on off topic, and you guys have been saying blaze blue. I'm like, did I screw it up? No, 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 no yeah, yeah, I was it's, right. it's, it's blaze blue. So yes, uh, blaze blue. Jeez, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at the screen. Uh, blaze blue so cross tag right battle. Now is uh, coming out next year, and we have the very, very first uh, world premiere uh, build demo is yeah. in the Rooster Teeth booth this weekend. Yeah. Go check it out. You can leave this room after we're done, and then go <laughs> play it, and tell us what you think. And tell our systems work what you think. It's been awesome working with them. It's an incredible honor to be able to work with them. Like, They're it's so crazy. Cool. Use Ruby to beat the stuffing out of Persona characters. Yeah, it's yeah. represent yeah. Ruby, beat up all the other characters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or play with Blueby. <laughs> can you do can you do Blue a cross tag with your own character? Can it be Ruby and Ruby against yeah. everyone else? Yeah, yeah. You can. All, all, a, 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 known as Blueby at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So by the way, I mean, the, the version that you saw in the video that we tweeted out a couple of days ago, again, that's just from this test demo, the final color palettes and stuff like that'll get sorted out. Yeah, later. we we've got we we several people tweeted out some very cool ideas and we're listening to all of those and we're gonna work with them and we're gonna get some cool color palettes and stuff. So um, it's gonna be awesome. Yeah. yeah. What else? What else? Um, so then there's all the uh, oh oh next you know we've got um, Viz yes who's is, yeah. is uh, putting out the manga in hard copy hey there we go yeah super cool yeah they have a booth here um, which you can go check them out uh, I think you and I are signing there later today yup um, but yeah so they're they're bringing uh, the manga over in January 2018 I got it right. <laughs> nailed I, it I don't read things ahead of time. Um, yeah, so that's gonna be really exciting, really cool. What else? Um, yeah, so I guess that that's that's all the producty businessy yeah. stuff. Everything else that's going on right now is all about the run up to the Volume Five premiere on October fifteenth. Fourteen. Fourteen. You ready? 14. October fourteenth. Fourteen. 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 Sorry. Yeah. October fourteenth. Fourteen. 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 Oh, yeah. God. But, uh, yeah, so uh, as part of the run-up to it, we are going to be on Twitch, their featured channel, all next week. Twitch is starting a new initiative where they want to host watching parties, basically, and they're using Ruby to be the very first show on uh, the Twitch That's featured anime channel. Crazy. So what's going to happen, the, the pattern of next week is on Monday, they're going to run volume one back to back to back, I think three times. Uh, volume two will be all day Tuesday, three on Wednesday, four on Thursday. In the run up to Friday, Friday they're going to run one through four in one massive marathon all yeah. day long. In the run up to the premiere on October 14th. Are you in school? <laughs> Skip a day. Are you at work? You're sick now. <clears throat> you need to watch movie. So and then... We're, we're trying something a little bit different. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do a theatrical premiere of Ruby Volume 5, Chapter 1 with our partner Fathom Events, and that is going to be next Thursday, October 12th. Hun happy, oh, birthday happy birthday to you. Happy early birthday. Yeah. Yeah. Just for you. Happy birthday. Yeah. yeah. Uh, some people some people were curious as to why I think the runtime was listed as like an hour and a half or something like that. The first episode of Ruby is not one hour and a half this year. Yeah, so it's a TV show. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> we're we're gonna run uh, the the last couple of chapters of Volume Four to kind of get you into the mood. Yeah, and, and we uh, did some like we, we shot some like extra behind the scenes footage yeah. of us talking about it. Uh, even I'm not interesting, but we said well, it's there. So uh, there's some extra like exclusive content for that too, and then you get to watch it with everybody together. I think that'll be like a really cool bonding I'm, experience. Yeah. I'm gonna hijack this thing for just a minute. Oh, you're gonna hijack. That's cool. Uh, we uh, we were kind of hoping that you could get in on a little video message from us to Japan. Their theatrical premiere for Volume Four is this weekend, right? And uh, I want to shoot a little video of uh, the American Ruby community saying hello to the Japanese Ruby community, and we're gonna put it up on the big That's screen, cute. all of us together uh, in the movie theaters over there starting this weekend. So uh, give me one second. Let's get this going. Oh my God. Should we see if we could get some lights on? I'm oh. nervous. Can we see like, a tiny bit? Oh yes. Look at that. Oh, look at all your beautiful faces. <laughs> all right. Pretend you're not here for a second, and then we're gonna shout. Hey, everybody. 
You guys are the worst listeners ever. Oh! <laughs> Hello, Japan from New York! It's hey, Saturday hey, night. Hey. Oh, wait. <laughs> Can I tell you one of my favorite things that has come from Chibi, Ruby Chibi? Go ahead. The amount of notice me signs I see at every convention. Yeah. <laughs> we noticed you, it worked. You, you are noticed. I did. I did Thanks for helping. You. Did we get all the business stuff out of the way? I think we did. I think it was like a record. Okay. We got some fun now. Okay. Awesome. What do we. Shh. How do you have fun? I forgot. I forgot. How, how do you have fun? fun? I'm, I'm just like, I'm so, I'm definitely not nervous right now. <laughs> so I was just gonna like double check what I was supposed to do. And no, it's totally what I was supposed to do. Cool. So, hey, everybody. Hey girls, what's up? Um, I think, I think, I think, okay. I think we're gonna. Hey. What's up? Huh? Hey guys. Hey, stop bickering. Hey guys. What's been like uh, getting ready for volume five? Oh, are we doing this first? Yeah, let's do this okay, first. Okay, cool. Volume it's five. Okay. It's all right. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, it's all right. Volume five. Yeah. Um, I am so excited for this volume, y'all. Yeah. I think excited is an understatement yeah. for all of us. It's a. Uh, I mean, working on Ruby, I think, is is one of the most rewarding experiences of our lives, and being able to come here and be with you guys and these guys and getting to work on a show that so many people love all around the world. But volume five is like a whole nother level. Oh yeah. Of this show. And I'm personally excited because Real. I want to see what happens to Yang. <laughs> I... Which way does she turn on that bike? Who knows? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yes. <laughs> North. <laughs> Anyone caught that? I, so. I'm excited. I, I, there was a perfect analogy uh, that we were talking about at the Build AOL thing that, um, that the last season was like the confrontation and the... Um, the, everyone dispersing and having to do their own thing, and now we're coming back. We're doing the growth, mm -hmm. and I'm so excited to grow. Yeah, what did you guys say the theme of this? That sounded was? like overtly yeah, sexual. Like, well, it was not intended that well, way. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're, we're all growing up as a team. Yeah. You know? We're all growing it's crazy. up together. We're growing up so fast. Like I, I can't believe you know we're sitting up here. We're on Madison Square Garden here, and I'm about to. We're not on it. We're in it. We're in it, right? Like this is. So humbling and unbelievable. It, it's been such an experience. And you know, thank you all for watching. Obviously, thank you guys for being amazing. Uh, and my teammates for being pretty cool. They're okay. Obviously, Weiss is uh, warming up to him a little bit. Uh, mm, you it? love me and you know it. <laughs> I hate this game of emotions we play. Mm. <laughs> and there goes my phone. <laughs> I. I'm really excited for Volume 5 because now we get to explore more areas of the world of Remnant that we haven't gotten into before, and now we get to also meet new characters that we haven't seen before in other volumes. Yay. So I am very excited for Ruby to meet those characters, and that's all I'll say. That would, thank that you. Very I'm kind of looking forward to seeing, like, you know, after last year being all about recovery and finding your strength again, yeah. this volume is like, okay, what are they going to do with that? Yeah. Oh, they, oh, they found it. <laughs> um, so, I'm we kind of talked about... I'm excited to see Torchwick again. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Ruby Chibi. Ruby Chibi. When, when you put the volume da, 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 of three Blu-ray in your Ruby player. Yeah. Well, actually, Chibi. it's funny you mentioned that about Torchwick. There is one scene, a little bit of a spoiler, but I think it's okay. Um, there's one uh -oh. scene in, in volume five. There's a port where Ruby is walking through the forest, and she comes upon a pile of poop. And... <laughs> I don't believe this it's anymore. True. No, this happened. I saw it animated. We had to fight Cohen for it. He was like, I don't think we need this moment in the episode. And Carrie and I were like, it has to be there. Mm -hmm. and, and it has a little hat. Wait, the, the key to budget tripled. No. And, and why is it wearing a bowler hat? You know. I, it took me a little too long to get what you were doing. Sorry. Just I'm, <laughs> I was like, why, it just why does it matter? I'm and a then little I realized thought. He's in the poop. He is. Yep. <laughs> He's in the poo-poo. Yeah. This is the poo. quality content Madison Square Garden was built for. <laughs> <laughs> hey, like, real celebrities perform here. <laughs> and yeah. we have sullied it with our presence. Hey, what's up? Soiled it. Soiled it. So, oh. Soiled it. What a great Ruby quote. That wasn't me. <laughs> So I think we're about ready to go to Q and A, but I got one more thing. Okay, calm yourself. One, one more, one more bit of news that I just wanted to, to give everybody. Um, so last year, um, 
you know, we, we uh, expanded like the runtime for the season a little bit, and we did uh, 12, uh, about 15 minute episodes, depending on how too long our scripts were. Um, this year, we got to go ahead, uh, we have 14 episodes. So, two extra episodes of Ruby this year. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going down in volume five. We wanted to make sure we gave as much time as we possibly could. And thank you to the people back home that made that okay. Yes. <laughs> Sorry we write so much. Yeah, we're, we're, we're incredibly excited about volume five and I can't wait to share it with all of you. But let's take some questions. Yeah, um, before we get started, a yeah. few rules for questions. No spoiler questions. If your question starts with, do you think in volume five we'll see, or like whatever happened to, just get out of line. Just yeah. get out of line, because we're not gonna answer it. You're gonna waste everybody else's time, and that sucks. That's one less question. Yeah. Please no long stories, three part, kind of a downer, like please just keep it kind of like hard and fast paced. We're, we're all to... gonna be at the booth over the weekend, have signing times. Uh, if, yeah, if you'd like to come and, and talk to us, like we'll be there uh, and we can, we can talk to you there. So, yeah. yeah, come talk to us in person. That's a great place yeah. where we can have a chat and stuff. We'll be at that booth. So yeah, anything else? Uh, no shout outs. I will say, Please as, much, yeah. as much as we would, again, would, we would love to uh, sign everything for you here and take photos. You guys should absolutely come to the booth to do yeah. that. Yes. Now is a time for happy, fun, answering questions. Yeah. yeah. Happy, fun, answering questions. Shout out to yeah. no shout outs. All right, yeah. that was the only one. I got it. It was me. Care Bear, you hey. want to choose where we start? Let's, uh, let's start over here. Hey. Hey, dude, um, I think he likes Yang. I, I, hey. You got good taste, Yang. my friend. I think I'm, she's okay, too. I really like Yang. She is the best character, no doubt. What's so, up? Get out. <laughs> this is when I turn into WrestleMania. I mean, how can you be that cool? Well, I was going to say, I said that it before. Uh, I know that to... question uh, because I answer it every day. <laughs> See, I have a question because he keeps okay. mispronouncing Ruby. So. <laughs> well, it's weird, right? Yeah. Okay, um, I have two questions now. Okay, one is really short. Go okay, for go for it. Okay. It. okay. Um, is there anything like you, you wish you did in the last volume or like um, like things you would have like had to do better or like oh, things sure. at scene? <laughs> Constantly sure. and always. Or, yes. Or like maybe Yang somehow gets to Blake on her scroll and continues her <laughs> All right, fan fiction, you can stop right there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, Bubble feet for life. Yeah, of course there's always stuff like as soon as like an episode's done, there's like a million things where it's like, I wish we could have gone back and fixed that or done that. Like hindsight's yeah. 2020. Yeah, I mean uh, art is never done, it's just released. Thank yes. you. Yeah. The nature of production is always understanding that you will never quite get what you wanted, but you'll be pleasantly surprised by what you end up with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well put. Yeah. Okay. That, that's better Thank than what God. I was gonna say. Thanks. So really advice deep, from Ruby. You yeah, should be a writer. writer. Some like deep stuff right now. I know, I know Art. Okay, this one's really quick. Um, like, I see a bunch of people in the comments for last episode, chapter 12, volume 4, saying, like, they don't want Ren or Nora to die. Please don't kill them off. It's too late. And I'm like, yeah. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh, my God, I'm just kidding. Hope you like TV. I know, but I saw that in, like, the comments. I'm, I'm just like, kidding. I was like, I think Yang didn't get enough screen time. I think they should kill them off. And I was like, <laughs> I'm, like, the opposite of that fan. Oh You're well, gonna yes. wanna leave the building before everyone else. <laughs> I like how he's like, you. kill every character like, to give you a Yang question time. here, or, or you just, just wanna let us know how much you like Yang? Question? I was just joking around with that. Okay, okay. well, thanks. Thank you for, We're gonna thank, jump thank over you. here. Thank you for answering. You're thank welcome, you, man. fan fiction. <laughs> Basically, now in volume six, um, it's just gonna be like a Hunger Games scenario. Yeah. 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 <laughs> We're actually We're renaming Wing. the show to Yang. Wait, oh, never mind. Nothing. Hey, hi. Hey, what's up, dude? How's it going, guys? Good. Uh, huge fan. Watch the show way too much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, no such thing. Got a young daughter, two and a half. I look forward to when she gets a little older enough so that I can watch it with her. Yeah. Oh, I've already started do doing now? that. Uh, I, I am teaching my two and a half year old colors by actually watching Ruby. That's great. That's a good idea. Chibi. He's telling the truth. Ch ch chibi. Yeah. We'll <laughs> save the other one for later. Yeah. Uh, my question is, um, I know in the past you guys have said that there were a couple of scenes that you couldn't finish or had to cut because of production. Uh, one in particular, um, Volume 3, the doubles round, Pira and Nora teaming up. I was wondering if maybe somewhere in the future we can actually get a peek at that in the form of maybe one of these shorts. I mean, uh, uh, probably not in the form of like a full-on like done short, mainly because like if, if we have the ability to, to do something 
like this. We're going to try and use it on something like that helps progress the story forward or something like that. That being said, yeah, I mean, like, um, we we got it all the way through animatic form, so there's definitely, we could put it on, like, a disc or something in the put future. Put a raptor so. in it. Yeah. So. Hey, here's the thing with DVDs. Stop buying them. They don't fit everything anymore. Blu-rays. Buy Blu-rays. <laughs> <laughs> Buy Blu-rays. Blu-rays. <laughs> yeah, but uh, there's definitely potential for that to get out there, and that's a good idea. Yeah, should put yeah, yeah thank you for that. Yeah. Cool. Thank you, guys. Good job. Oh, thank, thank you so you. much, thank man. You. Thanks, man. You're awesome. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, I love Ruby so much. I watch it while I'm studying thank for you. MCATs, which may or may not help me, but <laughs> it happens anyway. What, what are you Absolutely. doing here? You should be off it. Yeah. Well, you guys are better. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> how's it feel to know you're smarter than all of us? Yes. Yes, you are. I yeah. haven't taken them yet. So. <laughs> Probably still are, but go ahead. Um, but I loved um, what got me into it is how they're based on fairy tale characters or historical characters. So, is there a fairy tale character you guys would love to see made into a future character? Yes. yes. The Little Mermaid, and I'll do it. Still <laughs> mine. <laughs> Let's start with you guys. Yeah. I uh, I would love to see a Rapunzel character. Oh, personally. See. That's what I had mentioned too, and I yeah. always thought it'd be cool, like if she could, you know, obviously fight with her hair. Like maybe if she cuts it or you know uses it a la Tangled style. That'd yeah, be cool. I just want to have like a fight sequence with her, and it's just a song. I whip my hair back and forth. I whip my hair back and forth. <laughs> oh, we could get Willow Smith to voice it. Jaden's already in that new anime, right? Yeah. 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 Toblerone. Oh, hey. you <laughs> You're welcome. Who? I would want to do, I would want to be Sleeping Beauty, A, I love sleeping, but B, I really want to see, like, the fairy godmothers really would be, like, also, fight. like, a, a weapons, like, you know, what they could do, like, oh, yeah. call on them and, like, summoning, that'd be really crazy. Fairy godmothers, yeah, you take care of that for me. Thanks. That'd be a pretty cool sleep. interpretation, the three yeah. gifts from the fairy godmothers are actually weapons. Oh. Right? Oh. See? Hey, we got this something stuff there. This writes itself. <laughs> I'm sticking with Little Mermaid, and I will do it. Yeah. <laughs> She wants to be where the people are. Mine, I can't it. talk about. Yeah, I can't talk about some of them. We have, uh, I, I don't know if anything's ever gonna happen or what's gonna happen, but we have an idea for a thing that would involve like a set of characters or like this world, and it would be really cool to do. That's like Thanks the for vaguest that. thing in the world I could say. Yeah. All seven dwarfs. Yay. Uh, well, I'll reference this panel in th oh, th like three, three years, years or, or whatever. So, yeah. 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 Um, I'd like yeah. to see more uh, um, yeah, international mythology also. Wow. So like uh, I mean I'm, I'm a huge fan of like Norse mythology yeah. you know, it'd be kind of cool mm. to like, explore some more of that or uh, Ooh, can we go to uh, Egyptian? Another, uh, the the Kitsune the the yeah. trickster fox from Japanese culture would be another cool one. Are you talking about uh, Baruto's dad? <laughs> <laughs> he keeps he will not stop referring to Naruto as Baruto's dad. He's just stopped using his first name. I never name. watched Naruto, so I was just thinking about just starting with Baruto, just seeing how that goes. Like I just that's all I'll watch. And that's how you lose the audience. Uh, maybe uh, maybe Guess some characters. Not. Maybe characters based off of uh, the ghosts of Christmas, past, present, and future. I don't know. That could that be, be cool. Yeah. Neat. Spooky ghost. Spooky. Spooky. Thank you for your Thank question. You. And good luck. Good yeah. luck with all your studies. Yeah, good luck. Good luck. Hi. Um, my question is: uh, I had a chance to play the Blaze Blue game, and Ooh. I'm wondering: Blaze. is Ruby going to be the only character from Ruby? And if she is now. <laughs> <laughs> When do you think we're gonna see the next uh, second character from Ruby, knowing that they already revealed the second ones for Blaze Blue and Persona? Let's just, let's just, hey, hey. X-Ray and Baff will not be in the game. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I know, Trash. man. Strangerhood, on the other hand. Shut up. Every time someone says Strangerhood, I think that's the first time Strangerhood got a cheer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in its entirety. Is that rock that, on or I love you? News like that is, is for uh, Arc Systems to announce. Not us. Uh, yeah. Go, go, go needle them. Let, let, let them know what you want. Yeah. yeah. yeah you'll, <coughs> tell them what you want. But thank you for your question. <laughs> thank I, you. Thanks, bud. I think you'll be happy. Oh, but over there. Wash these mics. Uh, hi. Hi. I have a bit of a statement and then a question. So okay. First one. Does Shitley get punched at all? No spoilers! Okay, you didn't no listen. I was Damn like, it. who's Shitley? If I had my way, yes. fantastic. Nice Sorry, Whitley. Yes. Um, all right. I wanted to know, uh, given that they're now away, and uh, Oscar's, I guess, on his way somewhere, how important is his character going to be, you think, in this nah. volume? That's a spoilery question. Uh, uh, he's, on he's, he's on the poster. He's on the poster, so how about that? Is it? <laughs> Yeah, he's being best boy. Yeah, that's the that's the 
best answer we can give you. Yeah. You just have to tune in to watch. Thank you. All right. October 14. Oh my God, you look awesome. Thank you. Sorry, your cosplay's cool. I like cosplayers, yeah. they're awesome. Thank you. Um, so my question is for the writers, for the two of you. How do you, <laughs> how do you get into the different characters' heads when you're writing dialogue for them? Oh, Saws boy. and drills. And it's a lot of different stuff. Uh, music helps me a ton. Yeah. Uh, with Weiss, like I always listen to classical piano whenever it's a Weiss heavy scene. Um, we, we tend to, anytime it's uh, what something. What do you listen to for Blake? Uh, I, I wander into the Nothing, writer's office silence. from time to time. So. <laughs> Evanescence for Blake? Is that what you said? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, let me say, yeah, sure. say you, you know they're you, you know they're writing a particularly interesting scene when you walk in and they're you know playing the video game score from what are you guys Every, everything like, yeah I mean some like, of the dark I stuff. just have like a YouTube playlist that's just like a bunch of different stuff um, I know uh, you're the one that started this but uh, anything like Bronwyn related we tend to listen to like the Bloodborne uh, Heroes yeah. it's stream. so good it's really good. There's a loop on YouTube of it. It's like 30 minutes long, and then it ends with creepy voice, and it scares me every time. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it, it's all kind of it, dependent. Yeah, there's just like a bunch of anime scores I go back to depending on like what. It, it's a little bit more like scene dependent than uh, character dependent yeah. for me personally. Like the tone of the scene fits it. Um, that's the the good thing about not knowing uh, how to speak Japanese is that I can listen to J-pop and J-rock and stuff, and it, it doesn't distract me because I don't, like, I can't understand it. Um, <laughs> but it's so riveting. So that, that hypes me up. Yeah, you can't oh, hear yeah. the lyrics. I'll listen to ambience a lot, too. Like, with a lot of the stuff that went down in Menagerie, I was listening to, like, beach sound effects and, like, oh. jungle stuff just to, like, try to imagine what it's like in that space. Trying yeah, to fall asleep so you for the write it. campfire scene, I, I literally it. listened to a campfire for yeah. three days straight. Yeah. Um, All Follow sorts of up. stuff. Favorite, favorite anime soundtrack? Oh, shit, dude. <laughs> Kill uh, Kill's Ruby? pretty dope. I, uh, I listen to a lot of, um, uh, it, it, depends on what, it depends on the mood, uh, a lot of Fate Stay Night soundtrack, and uh, also the Kill a Kill soundtrack a lot. Yeah. yeah. Non Non's Which theme was, is like my favorite thing in the world. Uh, Kill a Kill is done by Hiroki Sawano, who's yeah. like one of my favorite composers. I mean, Sawano I mean, rules. I've been listening to like a lot of uh, Al Noah Zero. Yes. And, uh, yeah. Does it count yes. uh, the movie Your Name? Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, I listen to that a lot. That counts, right? Only, only if you want to cry all day long. Okay. Yeah. I did, and I liked it. Um, <laughs> yeah. No, that soundtrack to that movie is beautiful. Yeah. If you haven't heard it, download it right now. Akira? Well, the panel. It's real yeah. nice. Thank I'm you very much. Akira. My favorite thing about the Your Name soundtrack oh, oh, yeah. is that they I have all the songs right in English, too. too. There's a lot of people talking right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's good. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's just gone back. Hi. Hey. Hello. Hi. So since Ruby came out in volume one, um, it's done nothing but grow, both like the skill of the voice acting, the writing, the directing, oh, the thanks. animating. Thank you very um, much. It's done nothing but go up. And with that, it's become much more popular, uh, overseas especially. What has been the greatest challenge in handling that spike in popularity? Not freaking out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, and all, I guess also supporting it. We, we've, we've got so many cool partners that want to do cool things with uh, supporting the show that now it's this um, juggling act of, you know, staying focused on actually making the show, but also making sure that, um, you know, we're uh, helping all the partners out and make sure that they get what they need. And uh, uh, Carrie and Miles and myself and uh, Pat, our art director, um, spend no small amount of time trying to go over every single uh, product or anything else coming out that uh, uses the world. So. I think as far as voice acting goes, and maybe you guys would agree, um, being a fan of anime for as long as I have been, it's incredibly surreal but also very intimidating to now be voice acting opposite of people like Elizabeth Maxwell and Vic Mignogna and now Jeremy Lee. And it's like, oh man, oh god, I gotta really step up my game. Exactly, oh. yeah, it's, you know, we have to, it, it, it's just crazy because we all came on as never voice acting before. Now, you know, we have. And so it's like, oh, no, we, I have a legacy of honor to uphold, you know, very, you know, <laughs> yeah. I, like, so. I think um, for me in terms of like the most difficult thing with the growth is just it's hard to see everyone when we come to these conventions. And there's so many people who want to come meet us at the booth. And then when we go to these conventions, like people who have to line up or like don't make it when we're signing or anything like that. And it's just, we want so badly to meet every single one of you and to give you guys the time and talk to you and take pictures and stuff. But because there are so many people now, it's, it's hard to give everyone yeah. the time. And that's like the biggest point, yeah. sad point for me, I think, is just like not being able to do that. 
I, I was kind of joking with the freak out thing, but really, um, I have the privilege of getting to work on pretty much everything that comes out of RT Animation, and I, I, I have to be honest, like Ruby is the most stressful show to work on because there's so much writing on it. So it's a lot of times I have to try and like, you know that scene in uh, Man of Steel where like uh, Clark's mom is like, make the world small and just focus <laughs> on this? It's like that sometimes because it's like just, just focus on telling the story that you think's cool with your friends and don't think about how many people watch it and how much is writing on it and it's just, just have fun and tell the story you wanna tell with your friends. Yeah, um, kind of piggybacking on that is um knowing that the, the more people that watch the show, the more I'm not gonna make some people, or we're not, we're not gonna make everybody happy. Like, you know, it's impossible. And so trying to focus on the fact that we're making a show that we wanna make, uh, and we're learning as we go, and we're just gonna do the best we can every time, and next season we're gonna try and do better, next season we're gonna try and do better, and just trying to like really focus on that and not focus on all of the things that, you know, yeah, you know, like we were talking about earlier, like, oh man, I wish I'd done that now, or, you know, everyone else is, or there's a lot of people saying, like, you guys should have done this, and it's like, well, yes, maybe, or, oh, but, but we wanted to do it this way because there's a thing coming up, or, you know, it's just trying to, uh, personal demons, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, the, the analogy I've been starting to bust out lately is that, um, you know, er every year, the entire team does the absolute best that they can, of course, you know, you, you don't want to get overwhelmed by all the other factors of what's going on with the show or, or what's going out uh, and, and um, you know, uh, how certain aspects of your received. It's also just, uh, you know, then you look back at previous volumes and yeah, you see, oh, I really hoped that we had gone back and fixed that one thing or at that one moment, but there's a schedule and it had to come out. And in, in a weird way now, I've kind of embraced that and each volume sort of a love letter to uh, that particular crew and that point in time and where we were as uh, creatives at the time. Yeah. And, and you just have to sort of embrace that. You know, at some point, give yourself a break. Hey, just real quick, uh, if y'all want to leave, the people are leaving, that's totally cool. We do have one more thing to show later, so I'm just gonna, okay. Oh, oh. all you people that left earlier are you are. I'm just kidding, maybe you have places to go, I don't know. Yeah, they might have places to go, that's fine. I just want you to know. Just know you missing out on stuff. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Thanks for the goodbye. question. Good question. See though. that indecision. Thank you. Thank you. Now, there's some people like, I really wanted to get pizza, Hi. but damn. You're in New York, you can get any time. Uh, let's see, uh, I think we're over here now. Hey. 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 <laughs> so first I wanna start off by saying how much joy this show's given me really. Uh, thank you. Thanks man. That's super thank sweet. You. The fact that you're watching the show gives us joy. So yeah, yeah no, so take that. <laughs> <laughs> I took an L for you, Blake. Uh, what? <laughs> take that. Uh, <laughs> You know I said that, right? I know, Yang, I know. <laughs> What's your question, like, dude? <laughs> well, my doing? question is, well, I have more of a statement and a question because I lost a bet and the guy gave me 50 bucks if I come over here and said this, but first I'll start oh with boy. the question. Be careful. <laughs> Remember our rules. <laughs> no spoilers, right? Yeah, and spoilers. also just keep it cool. And don't get weird, but what's your question? <laughs> okay, so, Miles, you know the Navy Christ. Seal copy pasta? Nope. <laughs> The Awkward. Navy Seal copy pasta. Mm. <laughs> I threw his whole game off just does. now. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Okay. Next, different question. Okay. How about this? <laughs> and that was how that gentleman did not make fifty dollars. <laughs> I've already got paid, so it's cool. I'll and just that, tell him I did it. And that was the most elaborate con ever. <laughs> what's, what's your question? Question. Question. So, what's your favorite superhero? All Batman. Of you? Sorry, sorry. Supergirl. I really like Batman. I'll deviate. Black Canary. Supergirl. Nice. Supergirl with shared name, and she's blonde. And she. Oh God, this is the most stereotypical thing, and I've not seen the movie, but I love. I've always loved Wonder Woman. She was my first Halloween costume. Aww. And I've still not seen the movie, so I'm not saying this to like circle jerk the whole Wonder Woman thing. I straight up love <laughs> Wonder Woman. But uh, yeah, Wonder Woman. I'm gonna have to go with Batgirl because her name is Barbara. <laughs> what? Dude, Batgirl? You gave away her identity. It's me. <laughs> uh, does that have to be American superheroes or can it be? Oh, Dog? Live God. your truth. Deku. Oh! Midoriya. Who's that got Deku? the biggest applause out of anything we said. That's because Deku's day. best boy. <laughs> Isn't that the name of a tree in Zelda? Yeah, yes, actually. Yeah. The it's also so the name of My Hero Academia. Plus, popular show. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still going to say Batman also. Batman was the very first character, you know, when I was uh, three, four years old, and I, I figured out who he was, put on that blue towel, and just ran up and down yeah. the hallway of the house saying, I'm, I'm Batman, yeah. Batman. And now your favorite, now your favorite version of Batman. There, there are two. Oh. Well, I mean, like, uh, but originally would have been like the, the 90s uh, DC animated stuff by yes. uh, Deanie and Tim. Yeah. Yes. But, but there's a new contender. Has anyone seen what's going on with Ninja Batman? Oh, wow. It's so cool. It's really good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's really cool. If, uh, you, if you got to see the, the WB panel yesterday, they yeah. showed a scissor reel from it. That was awesome. And uh, stay tuned. They're going to put some stuff out related to that here kind of soon. Thank you. Yeah. True story, Batman is an inspiration for David from Camp Camp in his unrelent unrelentlessness and w willing to never not be kind. He's the Batman of kindness is how he described him. <laughs> but Terrible. He, he didn't take over the part where he won't kill anyone, right? He's just Oh, yeah. No, David nuts. will still kill. Okay. No, that's Daniel. That's Daniel. Thanks for your question, dude. Thank, Thank you. you. Hey, what's up? Hello. I like your okay. shirt. You look awesome. Thank you. It's, a, it's Bumblebee Week on Tumblr, so I have Oh, to. I know what it is. <laughs> I'm making sure. <laughs> okay, uh, first, Aaron, watch Wonder Woman. Okay. Um, second, this is kind of a technical question. Um, I know you guys for Ruby Volume 4 started utilizing a pencil for 3DS Max. Mm -hmm. Did you guys utilize anything for Volume 5, or are there any future tools you guys want to use? Um, honestly, for us, um, uh, uh, volume five has been a, uh, a in, now that we understand pencil a lot better, We're it's been more of a ref, like a refinement of that. Uh, we use pencil for all the characters and then redshift for all the backgrounds. Um, so I would say that like, um, kind of in the same way that like volume two to volume three, you know, volume three, I feel like was the epitome of us like us really understanding poser and how to make it look as pretty and, and use it like as, as best as we could. Vo like four to five is, is is more in that regard. So it's like we haven't we did not reinvent the wheel again or anything like that. Like we did between three and four, but we we've refined it a ton. Um, in terms of software that we would like to use in the future, I would like to use pencil in Maya instead of 3ds Max because it's it's hard to go. We go yeah. back and forth right now, and it's very difficult. Totally. Um, but uh, no, I, I I love pencil. We've wanted to use it since before Ruby was even a thing. Like we were trying to figure out how to use it with Poser, and that just wasn't gonna work. I'm more of a fan of crayons. Crayons, good. <laughs> nice. Crayons up and coming, been, but been, got a little show called Caboose's Guide. You should be. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> awesome question. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi. Yo, what's up, dog? Oh, hey, dudes, how's it going? Good what to see you. Good, dudes. Yeah. I'm a I dude. What's up? Dudes. We're all dudes. He's a dude. She's a dude. We're all dudes. We're all dudes. Hey! Good I'm Burger Boy movie. She's a dude. Available several She's years ago. I like that ACDC Big Ball song. Anybody? No? Just me? All right. Two. What's your question? Thank you. Okay, question Welcome for the cast, Burger. actually. What would happen if you guys were to switch personalities? Like. I'd be fine. <laughs> oh. Not much switch change. personalities? With our like, characters? Like Freaky yeah, Friday? Yeah, no, not much all different. Yeah, kind of like some Freaky Friday. Like, Some, like uh, Ruby yeah. is Yang. Someone's phone is on. Oh. And we'll have to take that. Or like if like if Weiss was like Lindsay Lohan. Uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, oh. we're already there. Done. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen Mean Girls? Um, yeah. If I think Ruby and Weiss would be really funny to see switch. Uh, that'd be interesting. Um, <laughs> oh, especially because like in, in real life we mentioned this before, but oh, Kara's yeah. much more like Ruby in real life, and yes. I'm very much more like Blake. I'm just, yeah. I just want to yeah. chill out, man. So oh. I, yeah. I think I'm a mix of Yang and Blake. Like I'm either either super like extroverted or super introverted. There's no real in between. I am not changing a thing. <laughs> <laughs> you can't force me to. I am Yang and Yang is me. We are one. <laughs> we are. Been she is me and me and she. So are you the Yang to her Yang? How about the rest of the cast? Thank you. Thanks for the question, dude. Thank no you. problem, dudes. What's up? Yeah. All right, so yeah. the, I think it's the last one. one more. To start off, Miles, you're wrong. Deku is not the best. It's Bakugo. So, I do love me some oh, Bakugo. Wait, wait. In the battle, in the battle of exploding fist, who wins, Bakugo or Yang? Shh. And also, also, uh, in the trailer that you showed us our preview, Mistral seemed a lot to have a lot of bossing say aspects to it in terms of like hierarchy. <laughs> How much are you drawing from Avatar? I mean, it was one uh, of our biggest inspirations. Yeah. <laughs> um, that is my favorite story in the history of stories, yeah. is Avatar The Last Airbender. Uh, I mean, yeah, it was definitely a huge inspiration. Uh, on top of that, too, I mean, like, 
you know, back in the day, we kind of decided that like uh, Vale and Beacon, we wanted to have kind of like more of like a European vibe to it. And we, we've, you know, we've known for years now that we wanted Mistral to have more of an Eastern vibe to it. So this is kind of our interpretation of that. But I mean, yeah, it, it was absolutely an inspiration. Can I ask a question following that question? Yeah. Okay, um, did anyone else notice a character who looked very similar to Zuko without his... Yeah. Okay. I missed it. I was too busy looking at that cute chick with the bun. She a little braided Those are actually hair. all the new main characters. I'm sorry. I'm going to do that one. <laughs> I'll do everything. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Thank ba you. Bakugo or Yang? Yang. Or you can save it for fan service. Yang. You can also save it for fan service. It's Yang. You're at the, the Ruby panel. panel. So Yang. I don't know who Bakugo is. Oh, girl, you shouldn't have said that. Oh, uh, no. Uh, hey, here's the thing. It, it doesn't matter because it's speaking Yang. Of, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. It's a hard one. That's a tough one. I think I might go Yang because she's got her protective aura, yeah. I think. But right. I do love me, that hard boy. All right. Yeah, and uh, speaking of fan service. I know what I said. Speaking of fan service, did everyone catch that fan service is now available to the public? It's, in, it's not just yes. for first members anymore. We have so, an anime talk show, yeah. and it's for everyone. Uh, Called fan service. Yeah. Still not canceled. Still not canceled. And uh, yeah, yeah so it runs for down. first members. What's that? Bones. Oh, it is Super Bones. If nobody's seen fan service, it's going to be weird. In joke. I, but uh, anyways, yeah, check out fan service. It's on Rashid.com. And then uh, this, I think, should be the last question. Yes. No pressure. Yeah, Make it a good one. one. Yes, you. Can I you. have your sweatshirt? Huh? I you don't get you. the last question. <laughs> All right. Uh, one quick one and one that I really need to ask you. Choose one, because it's the last one. I get Pick a one. sweatshirt. Pick one. Let's go. Two. Pick one. Is Neo able to speak? Uh, Come on, dude. That's, that's your question. question. Don't you think we would have made her speak by now? <laughs> Cat got her tongue. What, what was your other question? Uh, what was your other question? So, do well, you guys remember guys the disappear. Yang question from RTX? No. Is Penny the same? Oh, God, you're asking a gross <laughs> question. You wasted both. Shame on you. Give us your sweatshirt. Do you want to do one more real quick? Hey, hey, yeah, let's, that let's, thing let's, counts. Let's, let's do one more question. I have the question now. All right. My question. I have the question now. It has been decided. Look at me. Sorry. Everyone, listen to Barto. My question for you guys is, uh, what do you guys think is the biggest influence the fans have had on you guys personally? Oh, shit. Oh, that's a good one. You that's a great question. That's a great question. That's that's a great question. question. That's a great question. Round of applause. Baruto. <laughs> <laughs> biggest effect the fans have. Oh, gee. Well, okay. now, and now we have to answer it. I'm more curious on you guys personally. Like, I remember uh, the video where Monty was picking Velvet's combat outfit. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. I'm kind of wondering, like, how the fans have influenced you to make you work harder or well i mean that's like that. amazing there, there's a ton of ways i mean so uh, i know that uh carrie and the art team still think about the cosplayers whenever they're trying to lock in new uh, wardrobe designs i know that um you know it's it's, it's weekends like this where y'all get to hang out and show you cool stuff and talk about what you guys are interested in when uh, we see you in the booth and whatnot that like that provides massive motivation to, to go back and just keep going. I, I think that's the biggest thing for me is, is motivation. Mm -hmm. is, it's when it's midnight and I'm trying to finish a script and I, I would really like to go to bed, but instead I think about how much everybody's gonna hopefully like the thing I'm writing and I go, I don't need sleep. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna finish writing this thing. I'm gonna finish reviewing this thing or whatever. So I would say motivation. And it's just, just so you guys know too, like, like the, the crew that's working on the show like really loves hearing from you guys and, and it really motivates them too. So uh, I'll, like shout out to Groovy and, and, and you know, please continue sending your love to yeah, them they because hard. they really appreciate it. Oh, speaking of which, uh, yeah, oh. we, we, we've got uh, um, Groovy is going to be a little documentary show that's running this year during volume five. <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, yeah, uh, uh, for first members on uh every week after an episode of Volume 5, hang out for a couple more minutes, and you can watch a first member exclusive uh, couple minute long behind the scenes piece all about what the crew is up to to help make that particular episode. And then we've got a, uh, a talk show called Ruby Rewind. So what's going to happen, and this is a brand new show that uh, will run week by week that, uh, you know, they'll, they'll talk about what happened on the previous episode. We'll have some crew be on there. We're going to have some other um, animation industry guests on there just talking about the world of animation. And then you'll get a little preview of next week's episode if you watch it. So. Um, yeah, biggest thing for me, my mom used to be a second grade teacher, and one day she sent me a drawing that one of her students made. Uh, this little girl drew a picture of Ruby and wanted me to have it, and I Aww. keep that on my desk. 
So oh, that man, like, I look at that every time and it's like, this is important to somebody and that's amazing, so. Do yeah. it for her. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's my do it for her picture, yeah. You know, it's weird because I also, I got a drawing from Miles' mom of Ruby and I oh. keep that on my desk. Um, <laughs> She's not a great artist. Kidding. Um, the influence of the, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't, like, you guys make this so rewarding for we us. We wouldn't be here. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys watching it. We have so many people, yeah. thank you. We have so many people who come up to our booth and tweet us and say like, thank you for doing Ruby and for being part of it. It's like, well, we wouldn't be able to do it if you guys didn't watch it and love it as much as you do. Yeah. So it's like, thank you guys, yeah. first of all. Um, but also just, I wouldn't be as into the show as if, like, if it yeah. wasn't for the fans of the show. And right. they're like, I read people's theories and their speculations and everything like that. Like, some if, of them are really good. Some of them are great. And I just like, I don't even know these things about the show. Right? Yeah. yeah. I feel like the worst fan. <laughs> I think that we've all gotten a lot more confident too, just in our like our voice acting, just because oh, yeah. you guys are watching it, so it's like, oh, we must be doing something, right? Yeah. You know, so it's been it's been awesome, and yeah. you know, all are great too. So, I think are we wanting to show one more thing? Is that right? Or I was going to say, yeah. genuinely, it, um, we've formed a family internally, obviously with our cast Gross. and our crew members. Um, yeah, don't touch me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just like a real <laughs> really that's wise. My line. Like wise that's now. my line, isn't so, it? That was, yeah, don't that touch me. Wise. Kara and I, we're, we treat each other like sisters. We're fine. Um, yeah. But we actually formed, love her. Not we've really. formed an internal family, but yeah, in the yeah, same sense, are. you guys are also a part of that family. So we are very passionate about the characters that the, the company that we work for has created, and now we get to bring to life. And you guys are so passionate about the characters that when we speak to you about them, it, again, it feels like we're talking about family members and people that you know and care about. And you know, it's really cool to have that that intimacy with our, our fans, that connection. We love you. Yeah. We do. Yeah. So thank so you. So hey, on that note, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for everyone coming out. Uh, we're looking forward to hanging out the rest of this weekend. Uh, check the schedule. We're going to be in the booth for the next couple of days straight.